Welcome guys, uh, in this video I am going to show how to build a static map uh, with the react leaflet. So this is similar to our uh, static map uh, API from Google Maps which just shows the image with the specified marker. So this is what I am going to uh, build with react leaflet. So this is the demo page that I have which uh, has just the leaflet integration. So this is just uh, react leaflet integrated uh, with uh, map tiler. To display this map tiles so you can see here uh, it's just a react leaflet map uh, with the tile layer as a map tiler so here uh, we are going to have a marker specified for uh, our location that uh, want to show it to the user so it's just a simple marker uh, which we import from react leaflet where we need to pass position as a property so i have a position at the top uh, which is the marker uh, lat and longitude I'm going to use the same for position and then we need to specify the icon but uh, here uh, by default there will be one icon uh, displayed to this uh, marker so you don't need to specify the marker icon so if we see here uh, we can see uh, our map marker is plotted in our react leaflet container so that's good so we can go ahead and uh, add a class to this map so that we can reduce the size uh, as we need in our application so i'm going to change it to a small square of uh, 250 uh, cross 250 uh, pixels so let's add a css for that so if you really want to have this as a dynamic component uh, then you need to pass this width and height uh, as a props to this comp that component and uh, you can uh, make it as an inline style and pass those uh, height and width uh, parameters so if you see our uh, map tile size has been reduced the container has been reduced so now uh, i need to go and uh, disable few options to make this look like a static map uh, let's call that as a interaction options because we are going to uh, disable all the interactions uh, with our uh, Re uh, react leaflet container so i'm going to pass all the objects all the uh, interaction option options as a false so let's say for example uh, zoom control i'm going to disable zoom control now uh, double click uh, zoom also i'm going to disable it so these are the options uh, which provided by react leaflet uh, for controlling the user interaction with that map so i'm going to disable all other parameters so that uh, nothing uh, will be interactive in that map so it will look like a static image so close pop up on click false dragging we cannot drag and uh, pan to other uh, location zoom snap so if you want to know uh, what uh, each uh, options do does here uh, you can go and check in uh, react leaflet or leaflet uh, documentation for the same but uh, to make this happen we need to disable all these uh, options so, like track resize touch zoom and then uh, finally we need to uh, disable the, the scrolling mouse uh, wheel zoom so this also will uh, make this as false then we pass all these options uh, as a property to our map uh, container it's a map with that we imported from uh, react leaflet package so i'm going to pass all the properties to that map container so that it takes effect on that so if you see all the options has been disabled but we just have the attribution at the bottom so i am going to remove the attribution and increase the zoom level so by default only leaflet uh, will be displayed as attribution so this is how we want uh, uh, this looks exactly like a google static map uh, api so if you want to use it in multiple places you can say copy this or you can uh, make this as a separate component and use it in uh, the in your application Thank you guys.